Welcome to Display 2.3, a unique software application for MLA and Wavefront Precision Systems which calculates both inter-cabinet display angles and the DSP parameters for optimum system performance in any given space. Unlike competitor systems which generally use a basic geometric calculation to aim their arrays, Display uses a completely revolutionary approach using an extremely accurate computer model of the array. This will analyse the system performance in a drawing of the venue to precisely calculate the parameters for the system to get exactly the coverage you have specified. As a system designer, you get to determine exactly how you would like the system to perform in the space. The SBL contour from the front to the back of your audience region, how much spill into non-audience areas is acceptable, and even specify designated hard avoid areas that the system will actively process to reduce spill to a minimum. Great for producing a quiet stage or for reducing noise pollution off-site and outdoor events. This video will give you an overview of display and the workflow involved and there are further help tips included within display wherever you see a question mark. The application is very straightforward to use, taking you through a series of steps in a logical order. In fact, it won't allow attempts to design a system in the wrong order. Steps need to be completed one after the other in the correct order, making it a very straightforward process to design an array that will perform to its maximum potential. Display opens with a dashboard at the top of the screen. The initial view prompting you to specify your array, which is the first step of the design process. Choose from MLA, MLA Compact, MLA Mini, WPM, WPC or O-Line. You next specify how your array will be deployed, flown, ground stacked or pole mounted. Specify the number of cabinets and give the array a name. The dashboard now changes to show the tabs from left to right in the order in which the design will be completed. First, a 2D slice of the venue is created. The coverage within the venue is specified, the display angles calculated. A rigging report allows you to deploy the array, and whilst that is being done, the EQ coefficients are calculated. Finally, an SPL report gives detailed information showing exactly how the system will perform. The computer model is accurate to within plus or minus 1 dB of actual measured results, so the SBL tab is a reliable overview of how well your system design will cover the space. The 2D slice is either drawn from scratch, or you can import a shell drawing from a previous project if you're working in a venue you have visited previously. The slice is a side view of the venue. It is drawn anti-clockwise, starting at the back of the stage and clicking to define the position of vertices that define all of the planes within the venue. This doesn't have to be done accurately, as you can refine the precise position of the points working from architect's drawings or measurements you have taken yourself. The array is positioned and the audience region specified from start to finish. The coverage tab shows your 2D model with the planes refined into three types, audience in green, non-audience in red and hard avoid in blue. Each dot represents a virtual microphone position at which the software will take response measurements using the integral computer model. The dots in the critical audience region are closer together for greater accuracy and are exponentially spaced to closer mirror how each region is covered by sections of the array. The audience offset can be edited, standing, sitting or a custom offset of your choice and each region can be edited, perhaps changing a section under a balcony from audience to non-audience, for example.
The SBL profile can be modified and the environmental conditions entered to allow the optimization to compensate for air absorption, particularly critical for outdoor events. In the Splay tab, you can refine the quantity and position of the array before the system optimizes the intercabinet splay angles and the aim angle for the flying grid. Once this is complete, you can further refine how the array is to be deployed in the Rig tab, choosing for example between a two-point hang and a single point, for which the application will display the best position on the flying frame to give the nearest angle to the optimised aim. The actual physical angle that the specified hole in the frame will give will be displayed, with the option to use this angle in the optimization so that the array EQ is optimized for the actual physical position in which the array is installed. Finally, the load on each flying point is shown and critically the rig tab shows if the array is safe and meets both BGV C1 and DIN 18800 standards. With the physical deployment underway, you can progress to optimize the EQ. Again, you can enter the environmental conditions and can balance between the three goals, response in your audience region, leakage to non-audience, and the hard avoid performance. By default, each are given equal importance, but if your application demands particular emphasis on any one of these parameters, they can be given greater importance. For wavefront precision systems, the resolution is entered, either 1 to 4 box for WPM or 1 to 3 box for WPC. The SPL tab shows the system performance. The entire venue SPL is displayed on an index plot with frequency along the horizontal axis and position within the venue along the vertical. SPL is indicated with color, blue being the quietest, moving through the color spectrum to red, which is the loudest. You can move the cursor around the index plot and the position is shown on the 2D slice of the venue top left, whilst showing the frequency response at that position on the graph on the right. The final stage is to export your design. You can produce a printable rigging report, a wireframe 3D model of the array, export 3D data for use with ease, and most importantly, export the project as a D2P file, which can be uploaded directly to a multicellular array or to an icon amplifier for powering wavefront precision systems. This is a simple task, just create a file in the desired location on your PC, choose which of the arrays in your project to include, and click the export button.